Uh, good day, guys. This is Kenzo X Start Out Forex. So let's go straight to our daily analysis. It's Wednesday. So yeah, let's see what's really happening on the market. Let's see what's really happening on the market. Yesterday, uh, actually, there was uh, um, high impact news because uh, Jerome Powell he was uh, actually uh, speaking uh, about the inflation and the interest rate actually that actually uh, pushed the market to go sideways or yeah the market was like seriously volatile but unfortunately during those times because by the speech you can't actually know or gauge uh, whatever they say in there you can't just send the signal you see so and today uh, since it's wednesday uh, we're not going to have our live session i will be going somewhere very quick uh, then tomorrow, yes, it's where we can actually uh, go on the live session. That's why I'm sending a daily analysis. So what's really happening actually here? Uh, this is Euro USD, by the way. You can see that actually we are actually on a very nice uptrend. You can see, firstly, this is our trend line. There, uh, This actually, to me, is the stronger support that we have. Uh, let me draw double lines double lines double lines this is actually the support that we have you can see that the market since respecting this area the market never tried to even break this area but since that the market started to push the upside and around this area we can also have a resi a support line uh, which let's see let's see let's draw that let's draw that i think it makes sense i think it makes sense so actually, you can still do double lines there, but I'm not going to draw that. Uh, we can still do, do, do double lines, but you can see the market respected this area several times. Even now, actually, the market can still push to the upside. And we still have another support on the bottom side, which means actually... Uh, we just need, we just need to focus on this support area. If the market is respecting that, yes, we can continue buying. You see, so what we have here is uh, another. Ca it's counter trend line because it's inside uh, this trend. So it means it's a continuation of the trend, which shows that the trend is very strong. So let me just draw the second one. Let me just throw the second one. So what we see here is I think the market can still try to push the upside. I think the market can try to push the upside because it seems like the market is moving like this. Do you see that? Unless if maybe the market tries to break that, we will think otherwise. But for now, uh, I think uh, the market is actually still respecting that uh, uptrend. And I think the market will try to continue like that. So now we are on a uh, USDJPY. What's really happening on USDJPY? Uh, I think it's quite straightforward. It's quite simple. What I see here is the market has been going down. It's been pushing lower and lower. And we also pointed out some areas where uh, the market was respecting while at the same time pushing to the lower side actually we were on a very nice downtrend very strong but what we see here is the market broke out of that the market actually broke out of that uh, a resistant which was very strong by the way but on top here we can see that we have a resist sorry a resistant which now is going to be what a support area the market on top here created something so this might start to be something like that because now we think that the market is changing the trend which means the market might start to do what to push to the upside the market might start to push to the upside which means now we will be looking actually to buy around this area actually now it's actually a very nice time to buy but since the dollar is very yeah i think this is it will be much better for us to say yes yeah, something like that uh, might make sense you see why because now we're no longer on that downtrend we're expecting the market to push the upside so yeah uh, but i think i still think maybe the market might actually consolidate around there but still it's a very nice structure for us to do what to actually buy you see 
so now we are actually on gold what's really happening this is a quick update guys i won't be taking longer so what's really happening here is guys you can see that we uh, this is gold the market was actually respecting our our support area so what's really happening here is the market broke out of that support area uh, because uh, the dollar was getting stronger and stronger but what happens here it seems like that is changing the market broke out created a very nice ranging move you can see but it seems like the market wants to go back on that support uh, on that bullish momentum but we will see around this area what will happen if the market keeps pushing up it means the market is no longer under that uh, bearish momentum the market is going to go back on that uptrend and we will start to think about buying we will start to think about doing what buying uh, gold but for now it's better for us to relax and wait few hours maybe the market will show us if maybe it pushes lower it's also fine we will think oh maybe the market wants to give us something remember with uh, ranging moves like this we don't just jump on the market between that we wait for the market actually to do what to 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 break the area we wait for the market to pull to give us something to give us something before we say it's a buy or it's a sell i hope you understand that i hope you understand that so yeah i'm uh, um, actually let me see let me see let me see let's push to the next one let's push to the next one actually i'm getting late i have to send this as quick as possible so now we are on us oil what's really happening on us oil guys you can easily see that yes the market is actually doing what the market is actually on a nice downtrend the market is pushing lower and lower the market is pushing lower and lower this that's why we call that a downtrend but when we go deeper there or when we go actually on the structures we start to see that the market created another structure inside that that downtrend and now the structure it's like a actually the market is just consolidating around this area so i'm expecting the market to do what to maybe push up before we see another push and uh, maybe to the downside so that's why actually we had a hit and run uh i think day before yesterday actually you can see we had a buy here and then the market is still pushing to the upside i'm still expecting the market to reach around 82 there maybe before we see a sell or maybe the market can actually break this area and start to push to the upside i hope you understand that i hope you understand that so let's push to the next one uh which is i think it's us 13 us 30 so what's really happening here on us 30 uh, the market is creating some actually console it's actually consolidating but let's go actually and just to understand that you can see that on top there we had some very nice bearish move i mean sorry a resistant move where the market it's respecting and is still currently respecting on the bottom side we also have a support you can see that but currently what is important now is we have a resistant area on top do you see that let me remove this first so we have this horizontal area you can see around this area the market was playing around that so if we draw something there it will make sense and even on the bottom we see that we have something so we have actually something like this and the market is just moving around like that so where even yesterday the market pushed up down up i was watching that uh, obviously but what i see is the market is actually is purely consolidating around these zones a uh, resistant and support so what can we do what can we do and the market actually respected this thing like this uh, this area like quite some time and the market was seriously moving because there was also some economic news high impact news so you can easily see even now the market just touched that it seems like the market will be going down you can see the market touched this area several times even yesterday actually the market was doing that so but what i'm waiting for actually i'm just waiting for the market to get out of this uh, resistance just to push the upside because we saw on nasdaq that the market is now pushing to the upside the market is pushing to the upset that's why actually for now it's risky even on nasdaq because once you see structures like this once this market respect this mostly even the nasdaqs will follow so that's why we just need a nice breakout maybe even on the nasdaq the market will just shoot to the upset 
you see. But it's sometimes risky to trade uh, during the speech because you don't actually know what will the market do, you see. So, uh, and we've been having this sell um, uh, 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 signals which the market actually pushed up several times. But I still think maybe we can still have a sell. The market can still push lower. But I think the market is playing around this zone where it seems like the market will end up doing what? The market might end up pushing uh, actually or breaking out. That's what I see. But uh, let's wait and see. But I think where we are now, it's still a good time for us to, to actually sell. So now we are actually on NASDAQ. We are actually on NASDAQ. What happened actually yesterday was, yes, before, you can see that yes, the market is actually doing what? The market is actually on a, an uptrend. The market is still pushing to the upside. We're just looking for what? For buy positions. And for those who don't know, guys, we don't easily just get trades there. Sometimes when you don't send the trades, people, they get angry and say, oh, we don't really... Sometimes it's not easy to, to trade when the market is just consolidating. Sometimes we wait. There's other days where we're not going to trade. So I hope you understand that. So if you start to understand that not every day is going to be fruitful or maybe we're not going to get any signal, you're supposed to understand that. So the market actually, it was around here. The market pushed up. Then a few seconds later, the market came bear, uh, down again. But before that, again, the market pushed up again. So that shows us that, you know what, that was actually the news. It was not safe. You can still make money, but at the same time, you can still lose money. You see. So on top there, you can see that, yes, we are still actually on, a da uh, on an uptrend. Uh, but on top, it seems like the market is actually trying to create something. I don't know if maybe that is a resistance, but for us to say we buy, we'd rather wait for the market to come around this area before we see the market is going to shoot up or maybe the market to break this area. So this is the one which is actually confusing because maybe the market doesn't really respect that. What if maybe the market wants to respect the horizontal one? That is something that sometimes we have some issues with because the market can just use this type of a structure to respect and not follow whatever that I was I tried to show you like that, you see. So, but it's still not different. So I think the best way is to use the horizontal one. If the market pushes above, yes, I will do what I will buy. If not, maybe we will wait for the market to come around the support area before we say maybe we can shoot to the upside. Or maybe the market will have some other structures that maybe will try to break. But if that happens, we will see that happening. We will just see and uh, then we will consider selling. But for now, we're just looking for buy positions. But the market has been creating some crazy moves. You can see the candlestick, this one and that one. You can see that it was not easy to play around the market. So uh, don't forget that, guys. We, we actually have a limited special. We have a limited special. If you want to join the team, let me know. Let me know. Just WhatsApp me or Telegram me. But today, I won't be that available. Uh, I think maybe tomorrow, yes, I'll be available. But today, I'll be trying to figure out some other things. I will have to go to, to those and fix other things. But for now, yes, if you want to talk to me, just let me know. Uh, I will try. Some people, they will try to help you with that. So, yeah. Uh, and there's also the link on my description. You can check that. Then you can get everything. So don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like, share with your friends. This is Kenzo Extra Out Forex. Bye.